Hey guys, it's Brennan the Paleo Dude, and welcome back to another video. Today we'll be taking a look at some progress I've made on my Burger Shale Lego diorama. Um, we've been sorting Lego for a while now. Well, I haven't. I've been at school. My family has. <laughs> um, but thanks to that, now it's easier to get um, certain pieces and colors that I want for this build. And um, I've taken some time now to finally just put together what I have. And it's actually looking quite nice. Um, so the environment is actually at the base of a uh, underwater cliff. That or it's on top of it. I just went with like the stereotypical uh, recreation that you see a lot of classic artists do where it's at the base of this uh, rock formation here. Um, and yeah, no, all of the builds are based off of actual fossils from the Burgershale site. So like Marpolia, I think that's what it is, is the um, algae, the green seaweed-like stuff you see in the back. I've got my beautiful Chancellorid. I actually updated it. My original is very chunky and uh, not well built. Falls apart easy. That one in the back, very structural, sa structurally sound. Um, I'll probably do a video on it in the future on how to build it. It's pretty straightforward, but um, might turn out to be a fun little series. Got a bunch of sponges and whatnot. Little Pacaya in all black. I might do a white version as well, if I can find those an uh, t antennae pieces, actually. Because I think they make them in white. I know they make the uh, the part that connects to the stud in white. Um, mostly today I've been working on the uh, trilobite. Um, I did a few revisions of it, but you can see I made the head dip forward a little bit. And it actually went through a lot of different head sculpts to get to this because I specifically wanted it to look like Olanoides and I think I pulled that off really well with the angry looking um kind of got like brow ridges or something going on um I couldn't find these uh, seaweed pieces in red like the legs so I just went with orange and then on the back I just used some like bony horns um but I might change that later but this was probably the funnest to build um, out of everything that I worked on today. Um, what else we got? Waxy is back there. I need to make some more. I have the pieces now. Um, I upgraded my Anomalocaris. It now has more of the limbs, the swimming appendages. Also, um, everything's on like this little spinning gear piece because, let me just grab the box. I recently got this set on sale at the Lego store because the box was damaged and it contains these gears. Um, and I thought that would be cool to actually like uh, make the diorama a little bit more interactive. Um, sorry, I sliced my finger open on a box today. <laughs> so just ignore that. So I have this like little fancy key Give me a second, I'm trying to pull it out. Yeah. And I'm going to have like certain cogs throughout the diorama that you can stick it in and rotate and it makes them swim around. The opabinia was hard to make. I, it wasn't hard to make, it's just a little sloppy. I might fix it later, I don't like the forward facing eyes. But I couldn't fit all five of the eyes on there. Um, I'm trying to make everything slightly close to scale. Everything's going to be like too big or too small regardless, but I just want it to look nice. Um, because obviously Anomalo is way too small. Um, I originally had a, the Anomalo cars in the back there. You can see, um, the cogs or the gears or whatever, they go underneath that platform there to the back. Before I added these mountain rocks, which are completely not finished, you can see there's holes and stuff, that was originally going to be like in the back swimming around, and I kind of raised it up, but I'm changing my mind now, it might be in the center there, and I'm going to have to like pry all those up and find a way to like shoehorn it into the middle. Um, I also got um, some of those, I think they're called like 
Uh, they're the bracelet ones. They're like little charms. You, you get them in bags, a bunch of small pieces, and you add them to like a bracelet. Um, but they have a bunch of these pizza slices. And holy cow, are they perfect for brachiopods. So I'm going to start finding what colors work the best for this layout and placing them along the rocks. Um, brachiopods are these little shelled animals. They kind of look like bivalves, but they're not bivalves. They're not mollusks. Um, so yeah, no, that'll be cool. I'll probably add three or four different colors of them and um, have them in little color-coordinated patches like I do with the Choya sponges right there. Um, I got this new shade of pink that kind of looks nice. Wait, is that a new shade? Yeah, it's slightly different from those. I don't think you can tell on the camera. Anyways, yeah, so it's going good, and um, I'll do more videos on how it's looking as I add stuff. Probably won't be for a while, but um, yeah, no, it's, it's going pretty well at the moment. Also, the spins. I wish I could show it a little bit better, but it's super cute. It just goes around in a circle. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this little update video. Um, and maybe sometime in the future I'll show tutorials on how to make these guys. Um, but until then, I hope, again, you guys enjoyed. And uh, let me know if you want to see more content like this in future videos. And I'll see you all in the next one then. Bye-bye.